بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ایز یو نو دیٹ وی ہیو اسٹار ٹینسز اینڈ ان آر لاسٹ کلاس و لرن اباؤٹ دا فرسٹ پارٹ آف دا ٹینسز دیٹ واز ان ڈیفینٹ اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ہیو ٹو لرن اباؤٹ کنٹینیوس ٹینسز فرسٹ آف آل وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ پریزنٹ کنٹینیوس دا پریزنٹ کنٹینیوس ٹینس از یوز ٹو ایکسپریس این ایکشن دیٹ از ان پروگریس ایٹ اے پرٹیکولر موومنٹ ان present time for example i am writing articles or they are playing cricket so these examples declare the continual action in present time means the action is going on at the time of my speaking and now we will come to know that how to form present continuous by the structures here are the structures subject then helping verb is am or are We use is with the singular subject, am with I, and are with you or any plural subject. Then fourth form of verb. Fourth form of verb means first form of verb with I and G. For example, learning, speaking, reading, writing, and then object. For negative, subject, helping verb, not, fourth form of verb, and then object. For interrogative, we write helping verb first. helping verb subject fourth form of verb and then object for interrogative negative helping verb subject not fourth form of verb and then object and here are the examples they are working hard for negative they are not working hard for interrogative we will write helping verb first are they working hard for interrogative negative are they not working hard or i can say aren't they working hard aren't is actually the contraction form of are and not here is past continuous the past continuous tense is used to express an action that was in progress at a particular moment in past time for example she was sweeping the room or they were organizing a party and here are the structure of continuous past continuous subject then helping verb was or were we use was for the singular subject and were with the plural then fourth form of verb and then object in the structure of present and past continuous the difference is only in helping verb in past continuous we use helping verb was and were and here are the examples she was sweeping the room For a negative, we will say, she was not sweeping the room. For interrogative, was she sweeping the room? And for interrogative negative, was she not sweeping the room? Here is future continuous. The future continuous tense is used to express an action that will be in progress at a particular moment in future time. For example, they will be learning Persian next month. Or... She will be operating computer at 5 p.m. And here are the structure of future continuous. Subject, then helping verb will be, then fourth form of verb, and then object. For negative, subject will not be, fourth form of verb, and then object. For interrogative, will, subject, be, fourth form of verb, and then object. For interrogative negative, will subject not be fourth form of verb and then object. And here are the examples. I will be making tea. It is affirmative. For negative, I will not be making tea. For interrogative, will I be making tea. And for interrogative negative, will I not be making tea. So this was all about the continuous tenses and now you have to practice it by the task I have given you. Hmm, here is the task. Actually you have to modify the sentences according to the instructions that are in brackets and you have to do it on your register. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.